Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you how to make a large geoid today. I got some new products that I'm really excited to share with you. Um, they've really changed the way that I make these, so I thought I'd make a video and, you know, you guys can decide which products you like better. Um, I want to start off by saying a shout out to Kristen Lindblad for making me this awesome essential oil roller. It's um, supposed to help your creativity. Uh, I use it every time that I make one of these. It just kind of helps relax me. Um, you can find her in my link under the video. So we're gonna get started here. Um, so instead of crushing up um, dollar store gems that I've been doing, I went online and I found this brand, Celestial Fire Glass. Uh, recommend it. These are the sample packages. So they have um, one pound bags or you can get like little samples of different colors. I wound up getting I wound up getting the um, the one pound bag for the gold and for the clear. So those are the ones I'm going to be using today. Um, also use Funky Charms crystals. Uh, I really love the quality. They're super clear, so you don't really get that cloudy effect. Um, I've ordered different ones, and they were just not the same quality, so I stick with these. Um, also, shout out to Aga Art Studio for making these gorgeous pigments. Um, this gold pigment changed my life. I can't wait to show you guys what it does. She also has some crystal um, pigment and then the cream. Um, we are going to be making a turquoise geoid. Just using regular turquoise paint. You can find that at the dollar store, Target, whatever. Um, another game changer is this white dye, this pigment white dye, I've been using it. It creates a lot of cells, so um, yeah, that kind of changed the way that my joids come out between this and the, um, the gold together. They do some really cool things. Um, so I'm gonna get started with just laying down the crystals. Um, before you do that, you wanna paint it white, otherwise you're gonna see the um, the panel underneath it. I've also switched to wood paneling because I find it a lot easier to work on. It's completely flat, no warping, and it's a lot easier to take the tape off. Um, so this is a 24 by 30 canvas. It's a custom order that I have. Um, so I figured I would just show you guys my process while I do it. Oh, and also, when I do the crystals, I put a little bit of um, iridescent flakes on it. It kind of just gives it I don't know, more of a shine, more of a 3D look. Um, so I'm gonna start painting and get this going for you.
All right, so we have the first layer. Um, I don't have the uh, tools to pour something this big. I also kind of wanted to do it in steps because um, when you pour another layer, it's going to give an edge over here. So we'll see it kind of overlapping and it's going to do some cool texture things, make it more 3D. Um, but this was the, what I was talking about with the gold. So you get some really cool cell effects over here and it kind of almost does what ink does to it. Um, so you have some like really hard gold and then you have a little bit of a lighter mixture as it goes on. Um, this is my first time using the, uh, the crystal pigment ink. Wow, that is beautiful. I love what it's doing with the color over here. So that should be fun going forward with it. Um, she picked teal. I think it's a really nice color. Um, sparkles here with the, the teal looks great. Um, and as you can see, we have the iridescent flakes over here. So I think it just gives a little something extra. You don't have to add that, but I do like the way that looks. So I'm pretty happy with this so far. I'm gonna let it dry and then we're gonna do a second pour. Okay, so we have our second layer completely dried. I'm just gonna go in with some more resin and create some accent lines. Um, I suggest when you're doing this to let the resin stand for a little bit. Uh, when you freshly mix resin, it tends to be a little bit more runny. So if you pour it on the canvas like this, it kind of might just get muddled. So I like to wait like five to 10 minutes for it to thicken up a little bit and then uh, create my lines that way, just so I have a little bit more control over it. Um, so I'm going to go in and do that.
right, so after you're done pouring, you kind of just want to check to make sure you didn't leave any streaks. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed that the blue started getting really gunky quite fast. So the reason that that happened, I don't know if you could see, it's like really gross. Um, so that happens when you put paint in resin. So in the beginning, it'll be workable. Um, it just dries a lot faster than if you just have clear resin or pigment in it. Even the white started to get a little bit thicker just because I had a lot of um, white dye in it compared to the ratio of the resin. So um, the gold lasted quite some time. It's still a little runny. Um, so just be aware of that if you use paint that it will harden faster. Um, so keep that into consideration. I mean like it's almost hard already. So um, it'll cure fine. Uh, you know just don't wind up getting screwed by that. Um, so yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with the way this came out. I wanted to add more blue because I just felt like there was too much white on here. Um, but I'm gonna let this sit and then I'm probably gonna come back in with a um, gold marker and uh, do some accents. Hey guys, we're back. I um, took a liberty of finishing the surface with some paint markers and a Sharpie marker. Um, so I'm going to show you a close-up of all the details and the cells that I was able to get. So this is a close-up of the glitter pigment and the white dye. And what kind of happens when you overlap it on a different color. We have our crystal points. So yeah, like this blue line over here, it's just some paint marker and some outlines on this gold. Just gives it a little bit more detail. So this guy is completely finished now. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe, give it a like. I'll be making more videos in the future, uh, different style geoids, different colors. Um, so please stay tuned. I appreciate your support. Thanks for watching.